My name is Olga and I'm head of marketing at Afol. And uh, I've been working in mobile marketing for more than nine years, um, helping, helping small and big companies launch their new apps, new products um, onto markets, different markets, both Europe, America, um, Canada. So I will be sharing my tips today on how to do that and uh, also tips that we at Afol um, share with our clients and that we actually face every single day and some, you know, things that we, sh we um, see every single day. So um, I see that, do you guys, do you guys see me? I see that there are some um, issues that you, the two of you guys have just audio. Okay, super. is 40 apps on average um, launched daily in Google Play. Uh, and there are nearly 1,500 apps launched daily on the App Store. It is quite a big amount and thinking that there are nearly um, 3 million apps on Google Play and um, 2, and 2 point million apps, uh, 2.2 million apps on the App Store. I mean, that is going to grow and the competition is really, really high. So um, there are stats that saying that uh, the revenue from mobile app business is going to grow up to nearly two hundred billion dollars by uh, 2020. So uh, the competition is not going to get lower, and for smaller brands or for brand new apps or games, it gets even harder to um, to get users right before or during their launch. So I'll, go, I'll be covering um, three, um, three um, let's say, stages of, the, um, of, promoting, of uh, promoting and um, acquiring users for brand new apps. And the first one is the episode one and the pre-launch. So uh, my recommendation and the recommendation of all, the, all my colleagues that I spoke to about preparing for the uh, for the webinar was to um, uh, first of all build a community. I, it is it may be hard for harder for you than than uh, for bigger brands, but there are still ways. And um, what we actually experienced ourselves and what I experienced with uh, uh, working with um, different apps was that you can do a product hunt. Uh, they have a cool tool called Sheep by Product Hunt. So you basically um, create a page where you say that you're going to be launching this tool and um, for people who are going to be signing up. Uh, on the day of the release, they will uh, get a notification or email um, that you launched it. So you're building a community describing everything that you, all the benefits of your app and um, but by that time, you already will be having some amount of people who will download your app um, straight away. So secondly, it is Reddit and uh, building, and if you are active there, or if you are you know, part of community in Reddit, uh, you can also start gathering people and um, anticipation for launching your product, especially if um, you are popular in some particular subreddits. Um, before that, of course, you will need to have an um, app page, but it, a web app page, but it is quite obvious, so I didn't really um, step here. Or, for example, if you are launching, these two um, tools are good for um, both B2B and B2C apps, but if you are launching a B2C app, um, Instagram, all good, Instagram is really, uh, um, can really build anticipation for uh, launch of your product. So um, after that, or in the meantime, while you are uh, building a community, you should start preparing an app page. And um, this is app page in um, any of the app stores that you are launch launching in. Firstly, you need to identify a category for a higher conversion rate. And um, you know that you can uh, choose different categories and they can be um covering more or less the same or like or your app can suit uh more or less this two or three categories so make sure that you actually know the conversion rate um 
stats for both uh, for both chosen categories the main one will um should be the the one that suits you the best the subcategory um may bring you less people but if the conversion rate there is higher um it can also work uh, well for you so here um for example a business and finance categories there is an app um i was just checking while preparing there is an app that um by guys from Square, and they actually cover both business and finance. So you see that finance uh, category has a better conversion rate um, uh, and than the business one. So maybe choosing this one as a primary um, category would be um, the best option for you. So uh, you need to create graphics and text to be noticeable in app stores. You all know that with the amount of apps that you have there, um, a very um, cool icon that will show users what you're all about uh, together with screenshots and um, you won't have that much time to catch their attention but having the um, proper name of the app and uh, here if you're brand new we would highly recommend you not to use uh, your brand name as um, in the title of the app but um, have a description uh, or better what uh, what is your app going to do? Because no one knows your brand, and they may be caught um, by the um, by the name of the. Uh, they may not be caught by the name of the brand. They would be better caught by the description of the app. Uh, and um, we will be later sharing uh, materials on, or um, if you have any questions on how to do it better, or if there are like case studies or something like this, um, please do. Um, please do ask them here and we will be sharing um, a few of them later. So, and then use the right keywords to be found faster. Uh, obviously it's very hard and I bet that you all know if, you are fam if you're familiar with um, AppStore optimization, you all know that it is way harder to compete with um, mature apps. So do not try to get, um, you know, only top um, and the most popular broad matching um, keywords. Try to go a bit um, narrow and um, see those um, apps where you don't have, like, I don't know, if you're a lunch and a taxi app, do not try to compete with Uber. They have a um, way more um, reviews, way more users already. So try to get a, a bit of lower score for your keywords and that may um, help you to get higher there. Um, for um, uh, if you're launching an Android app, there is a tip. Uh, the guys made pre-registration page up uh, public this March, and so um, they are also saying that uh, according to uh, what they've seen, the games uh, that have already used the pre-registration, they had a better D1 and D7, um, D1 and sorry, and D7 volume of installs and a higher conversion rate to installs. And uh, I'm sure that you, um, if you, I would highly recommend you if you're launching an app on Android or a game on Android um, to create a pre-registration pre page and uh, maybe create some milestones for users to, um, the more users you get there, the more users re uh, pre-register for your uh, game or app. Um, the, um, I don't know, they will all get a 200 coins or something like this. So um, uh, think of that and uh, think of different app store. Uh, if you're launching different app stores, think of different app store techniques there as well. Um, so the launch itself, let's say that you prepared for, um, you did everything, you chose the category, you prepare the app page, everything is perfect and you did the market research, the app is ready to go your um, beta version um, 1.12, everything is fixed. So there goes the launch itself. The few first few um, hours and days uh, when you just launched the app, you really, uh, it would be really re highly recommended to you to use app reviews websites. So there are many of them and um, they're in the presentation. You cannot click it now, but I will be sharing a link with um, uh, more than 200 uh, web resources for, um, for publishing your app ad and then where you will be able to get um, reviews there or it will be promoted by the, um, um, the owners of the app.
so um, app advice app gamer are few um, than the best Android apps uh, or appadig.net. Um, there really there are a lot of them, and we really work hard to build a spreadsheet for any store and any app or game. So um, just uh, make sure that either you reach out to us or um, you download the presentation. You will have this one there. So this one is uh, quite obvious, uh, but this is start pay ads. Uh, if you are not, if you don't have a big budget, uh, you can even allocate it like around 200 um, euros of dollars to do so. I'm not going to stop here uh, for a lot of time as I'm quite sure that everyone um, is familiar with that. So there is just a list of what you can um, use, the Apple search ads, Google ads, Facebook ads, together with Instagram ads, um, Twitter or AdMob or um, any of these tools that may work well for you, especially if you are a brand new app, I would really highly suggest you doing allocating some budget for paid ads to get some paid users or users to get to your app page. So uh, this one is not that obvious for acquiring users, but um, there is a connection. And um, monitor user reviews and reply to them. And it is really, really important when you have a new app, newly launched app, you don't have that many um, user is leaving your reviews or leaving rating. So um, it won't really um, take a lot of your time to do so. And you can uh, set up a um, integration with Slack and we are at our follow, we have this. Um, and all the new reviews or all the positive, negative reviews, whatever reviews you choose to receive, they will be sent to your Slack or um, help desk or anything like this. And why is it important to reply to them? So um, if imagine yourself, if you get on an app page and you will see um, a very, let's say, angry or upsetting um, app review that is not answered by um, a developer and there are like three of them, that means that app developers just launch an app for sake of launching it. And um, besides that, uh, a Google I.O. Um, guys from Google also said that the um, um, app rating changes, if you reply to app reviews, app rating change, changes by at least uh, 0.7 stars on average. So happy users, more uh, higher rating and more visibility. And better reviews and rating, more users. So uh, please pay attention to reviews and uh, make sure that you reply at least to those that are negative or um, at least do this at least once a week. So post launch, and that would be mostly for uh, mostly related to the apps where you have, where you launch them, uh, where you launched it, and it is uh, one two month after. Um, so where you can actually have some more time and you have some data on how you acquire users, and um, you can actually analyze um, what user acquisition channels work the best for you. And uh, here you can both work uh, with any um, app source that you have, and you can get um, data on anything. So analyze user acquisition channels and nurture them, because the best, the nurture the best working ones. Um, the as the conversion rate is higher, quite obvious that you will get um, more visibility and more users there. So uh, there is an as a app store optimization analytics um, tool that um, we have and um, our clients use that app follow. So you can see that here you see the stats of um, an app uh, by uh, date, by channel, and um, what channel brought you more page views, more downloads, more impressions. Um, quite a cool one. And um, I believe that you can um, do, you can, if, if you don't have like more, a lot of apps, or you just launch just one, you can anyway do this in the um, um, App Store or Google Play yourself. So this one is um, not the most, you know, unique one or not the most unexpected one, but improving and always working on App Store optimization is really um, not always a, not of course a silver bullet uh, to get in your users, but it will increase your visibility and as a result will increase your um, downloads. So um, a suggestion for finding your, um, you know, paths 
to get more users is run A-B tests, um, gather a semantic core um, of the keywords. You can uh, find, you can either check only yours, um, your keywords that you have, that you have already used, or you can also check um, suggestions from, uh, you can monitor your competitors and see what they're using or market leaders or um, use a um, keyword planner or um, our app follow uh, keyword suggestion tool to get the um, um, approximate score on, um, and who, on keywords and who uses them. And monitor competitors and market leaders. This one is um, quite obvious as well, but uh, not a lot of people do this. So thinking that you can just, you know, um, try to push your app and, uh, or if there is, I don't know, if there is a big competitor uh, from your side and that you cannot really um, overcome and you cannot get uh, more users, this is not true. So um, always see what they're changing, uh, what reviews they're getting, what um, their users are not happy with, and uh, try to build your tools, um, your app um, at their tools that or uh, features that uh, users complain about, and um, help spread the world uh, the word um, to your current users. So. Uh, for A B tests, um, the ones that the the things that we need we recommend to um, to run A B tests on is the icon. This is the first thing that people generally um, look at when they see your app. And the more fascinating it is, the um, um, the more chances you have, and the more explanatory it is, more chances you have to. Um, um, get uh, this user to download the app. Screenshots, as um, as always, you know, people are captured by the screenshots. And um, if you have any doubts on uh, what performs better, screenshots, videos, what orientation of screenshots performs better, do A-B tests. And um, there are a few tools that um, we could all, that I would also like to mention. Besides the, uh, um, the Google A-B tests, that you can, um, oh, sorry, there is the, there are the tools. Uh, so Storm Maven and Split Metrics, those guys that I'm sure you all know if you ever try to do research on the A-B test um, tools. And uh, here is the example of one of our clients that ran a, um, changed the um, um, screenshots and then got the, um, got increase of the, um, of the downloads and of the users. So uh, not a very obvious one and not a very like, popular one, but localizing your app may also increase chances of getting um, more users. As uh, you know that now Google uh, Play Store has, um, has uh, different app pages for different countries. So it would uh, look like this. This one is for Saudi Arabia and the um, UAE. Uh, the um, higher chance, the um, if you localize your app, you get higher chances of getting of catching users uh, from different um, countries. So consider not only um, localizing the app itself, but also uh, doing the um, uh, working on the app store page and the um, screenshots and again the icon and things like this. And um, this one is also something that um, is really, um, well, that really would boost your um, app downloads and get bring you more users is getting featured. So um, you all know that um, App Store has these three tabs uh, today, um, app of the day and game of the days. Uh, we have, and um, we've noticed a lot of uh, you know, spikes and downloads um, after app was um, featured on any of these tabs. And um, there is one of the, um, the cases that um, I'd like to show you. This is just a chart of, um, so guys were featured on June 17th and, um, sorry, in June 8th, yeah, 17th, and then that's the spike of the downloads that they, they got. Of course, there are some, there may be some downfalls and there are some minuses of getting featured, but if you are ready for it and um, you, it will only do you well. So what I would also recommend you to, once you applied for getting featured on the App Store, I would also highly recommend you to um, track to use the featured apps 
tool that we um, have and uh, we have also a um, notifications in Slack and we are able to show you who is going to be featured or if it's going to be you featured on the app store tomorrow. So this is the screenshot that I actually um, took today and this is a Slack integration with um, Apollo and you see that tomorrow uh, in Australia, Germany, uh, United, the UK and 90 more countries uh, Molly Skin um, is going to be featured up and then the, in the Robin Hood. So um, I can already see a question there, Amir. Um, try, um, the, um, try the integration with um, a follow and Slack uh, and we will be able to send you the notifications, the setup the notifications for um, apps that you're interested in and when they're featured, one day in advance, 24 hours in advance, you will get the um, notifications on Slack. Mm -hmm. So that's that. And uh, thank you very much for, um, uh, for listening.